This 26 Sports and CCTV High School Football presentation is brought to you by Cadillac Casting Incorporated. All right, welcome back. Halftime is just about done here. You get to see quite a show with the Cadillac uh, Vikings marching band and then the uh, Pop Warner teams, and that was, that was quite a, a thrill for those kids to be out there. And uh, Jason Main just got back. You were down on the field and uh, organizing that, and that was a uh, lot of fun to watch. <laughs> I don't know. It was uh, fast and furious, and I think every play there were six kids holding, so it was perfect. <laughs> I didn't see any flags, nope, so that was no, good. That's good. No that's flags, good. but there was some. There were some good, uh, good running plays and yeah. great, great tackles down there too. Yep, yep. Uh, you know, and and in this age, we try to focus on blocking and tackling, and you know, it's it's easy to get caught up in trick plays and try to get outside with the reverse and everything. But um, they benefit most from from learning how to block, how to tackle, how to tackle safe, yep. and uh, you know, making it fun for them. So. Oh man, that that was fun to watch. Well, we've got uh, we got a great ball game here. This is the Big North uh, Conference opener for both the teams, Cadillac Vikings and the Petoskey Northmen. And uh, first half, Petoskey kind of had their way offensively. There yeah. was not too much stoppage by the defense of Cadillac, and they've got to they've got to stiffen and start uh, stepping up a little bit. You know, at times they had they had moments of making good plays, but. Um, if you're Cadillac, you think, man, i got to stop the pass, first of all. There's a great kick by Lettingham and Tip Baker up the middle, and he spins all the way past the 30. So good coverage by the Northmen. The Vikings will take over at the 32-yard line, and uh, Knight has fallen here in Cadillac. Just an absolutely gorgeous night. Uh, we got the lights on, huge crowd here from Cadillac, and then the great showing by the Petoskey fans, too, on the other side. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's the dunk tank down there or if it's uh, the 90 Pop Warner kids that, that each brought some grandparents tonight, but um, it's good to see the stands filled. Oh, yeah, this is nice. All right, the Vikings go to work with a handoff to McDaniel, and he rumbles up with a good five or six yard run to start the second half. Yeah, they, they had a hand on him right at the line of scrimmage and he's, he's barreled through to get about five yards on that. And that was, uh, that play was pretty productive for the Vikings to start the game with uh, McDaniel and then Potaski kind of adjusted to that. Vikings seeing if they can get a long sustained drive here going. Tip Baker under center. The handoff is right up the middle, busting through is McDaniel. He's still on his feet all the way down to the he 40. Fumbled. There's a fumble picked up by Petoskey. That was number 55 running He's back the other going. way. Petoskey has blockers. one guy to beat. There's a great block. He'll take it all the way into the end zone for a Northman touchdown. Well, that's a dagger for Cadillac. They had a great fake and first down over midfield, and it turns around to be a touchdown. And I believe that was number 55, Michael Deedy, and we we're going to catch that one on a replay here as soon as we get a chance. But uh, teammates are mobbing him after that fumble recovery and approximately a 60-yard run back. We're going to get the extra point attempt, and then we'll get this uh, replay queued up here. Noah Lettingham, number three, will attempt the kick. Boy, that was a nice run there, too, by Jared. Yeah, he did a great job of hanging two hands on the ball, and, the, and it was a great fake. You know, they didn't really know he had it at first. Boy, that kind of stuns the crowd here, Jason. You got Cadillac uh, moving the ball well in a, in a big running play. Yep. All of a sudden, it's a touchdown. The it's a 14-point it's a swing, you know. Not yep. that Cadillac was going to score, but they're across midfield, and... Lettingham with the kick up and good. That'll make it 27 to 13. And now we'll take a look at this uh, replay here, Jason, see if we can see what happened at the end of the play. Here we go. Breaking through is McDaniel. Yep, oh, and he was just caught from behind, 72. Watch the block here at the end of here, at the play right there. Yep, number 72 is Nick Plath, and he's uh, he's their top D lineman. And, you know, that's the thing with D lineman just running downfield, trying to make it a play. Yeah, so a big play there by the senior Nick Plath. 
and a great block right around the five yard line. I, I didn't get a number on that, but that was uh, that's was able to spring him for the touchdown. And those now are, those yeah. are those are a dagger, you know, the morale and and. If you come out from halftime and, and you get a score to tie it up, I mean, it's a battle. And now Cadillac down two scores has to do what they did last Friday and, and battle back and not give up. Right. And they uh, they know they can do it because they did it against a tough St. John's team. But, boy, that sure gives the uh, the Northmen a lot of they've, energy. And yeah, they've um, switched Cooper and, and Tip back here, and, and they still kicked it to Tip. At the 10, Baker... There's a good block by Benson. Baker still on his feet, all the way up to the 37. A great run by Baker. Look like and number uh, uh, John McCloskey. John McCloskey with the tackle, but uh, uh, number Cooper Benson had a great block on that. Yeah, he did. Number 80, Justin Olson, uh, is going to have to get some grass stain off his back. Uh, tip <laughs> ran over him on his way to gaining about six more yards. He lowered his shoulder and lowered the boom, so to speak. He's still kind of dazed out there. I don't know if he knows where he's at. Vikings with uh, Benson in motion. There's a give, a pitch out to Benson. Benson cuts it back up. He's first at down. the 50 and first down for Cooper Benson. Nice run. Number two, Cooper Benson. I don't know if this, you know, if the numbers are totally accurate, but I heard last week that Cooper Benson had 377 all-purpose all -purpose yards. yards. Yeah, it was it was up there. I'm not, I'm not sure if it was that much. That might have been. I that was that was everything. Okay. Uh, punt returns, yep. uh, receptions, runs, and that's uh, that. I think Tyler Hamilton said that, you know, that's what he had for all-purpose. That's a monster game. Oh. For anybody, and yes. Between yep. him and and St. John's running back, they yeah. All right, first down and ten for the Vikings at midfield. There's a give up the middle, busting through is McDaniel. He's got some space. He's cutting it to the outside, still going all the way to the 26. Great run there by McDaniel. And he held yeah. on to that one. He did. He did. Put his head down and ran over number five for Protoski, but. Uh, Cadillac, like I'd say, they 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 don't quit. You know, high school kids sometimes get down by a couple of scores and put their heads down, and uh, that's one thing I've noticed about this team is they they stick with it and never never fear they can uh, come back. Now the Vikings inside the 30. This time it's a keeper by a Baker, and he'll gain a couple, maybe three yards. And uh, nice job to make it some positive yardage out of that. So. They're going to place it at the 26-yard line. It's going to be second down and nine for the Vikings. We've got 9.43 to go here in the third quarter. Jason Main, along with Bill Dooley, bringing you the action on a Friday night. The conference opener for both teams, and it's been a dandy. Here's Cadillac in their flex bone offense, just pounding away. Give up the middle, and that one was stuffed nicely there. We have number 85, and also we'll get a number, number 82. 82, Lucas Miller, and 85 is Brandon Grandgood. Nice job there by those guys. Double teaming McDaniel. Now it's going to be third and nine, and the Vikings really, I mean, obviously this is four down yep. territory, but yep. they need something here. Keegan Brooks will uh, split out wide to the left. Under center is Tip Baker. Motion is. There's the toss to, is to Cooper. Cooper. Cooper is wrestled down there on a great tackle. That was uh, Joel Wilson, the 6'4 quarterback. On defense, yeah, coming up to make the play. and He's made some a couple really nice plays yep. on defense. You know, Cooper's, uh, Cooper's quick and fast, and unfortunately, usually one guy can bring him down where. Uh, Somebody like St. John's running back, it took two or three last week. Yes. So it's going to be fourth down and 11. See what the Vikings do here. Maybe a little uh, play action. Tip Baker drops here. straight back to pass. Oh. And a nice catch, but it's going to be short. But uh, great job by Cooper to, to corral that behind him. Yeah, number 21, Jordan Burr for Petoskey had it covered pretty well. You know, he didn't. 
he's been fooled on that once tonight and uh, didn't quite work that time. So that's turn it over on downs. Yep, so now Petoskey with a 14-point uh, a lead and eight minutes to go, and we're uh, ready for our next player profile. Yeah, we have Tanner Cochran, and Tanner's parents are Leah and Jacob Cochran. His siblings are Noah, Gabriel, and Olivia. Besides football, Tanner plays basketball, track, and his favorite pastimes are hanging out with friends and working out. His favorite football player is Peyton Manning. Uh, Tanner plans on attending college after high school and going into the youth ministry. So congratulations, Tanner, on being one of our player profiles. All right, Tanner, congratulations. Here's Petoskey in their double slot formation shotgun. And it's a give to Mitchell, and there's a dive over the left side. Good job there by Cadillac to trip him up in the backfield. Looked like 50 Owen Klaus. Yeah, we haven't called 60. Owen's name. Uh, no. Yeah. That first game against Big Rapids, uh, Owens was, uh, and, and even the second game against St. John's, yep. he had some nice tackles. So Yeah, Owen goes uh, 100 miles an hour, and and he's getting better every week. You know, first couple weeks it looked like he made a couple wrong reads, but he's getting better as time goes on. It is now second down and nine. Shotgun formation. Pass. Wilson back to pass. Fake going deep. Going up in the air was Cochran, step for step. That's nice coverage yeah. by Tanner Cochran. You know, and, and the thing Cadillac did there was got a little pressure on him, and he had to force it. He wasn't as comfortable back there, so yep. it allows the DBs to close in on those receivers. And that's a tough play for Tanner because he's got to stay off the receiver, yep. time yep. it just perfectly. And, the, uh, and nothing against referees, but they, they get flag happy sometimes, and, <laughs> and they want to call, if, if, you know. Yeah. This guy out there hasn't made a call all night, and they throw a pass. He feels like he's got to do it. Good job by the referees to on the no call there, and it shouldn't have been. It's going to be third down and nine for Petoskey. Cadillac looking for a big stop here. Draw. There's a, a fumble. The Vikings. Vikings got it. I think that's uh, Sam Platt, number 58. Fumble. On the recovery, it'll be Vikings ball, and we're going to take a look at that if we get a chance on a replay. Hey, that's a huge play. It bounced right to him, and, you know, I don't think – I don't think Jalen Mitchell, he was he was still running after the play. I don't think he was expecting the ball, and yeah. he thought the quarterback was going to keep it, but a big momentum shift right here. All right, here we go on the replay. Ball hit the ground, and right there was Sam Platt. So nice job on the fumble recovery by Sam Platt, number 58. And Sam is a, uh, is he a senior, 58? Sam is a senior, 5'10", 230-pound senior. Okay, so Cadillac will go to work. Here is a give up the middle to McDaniel. He's tackled there. Right, number, 11, number 86 McDaniel. for uh, number, number 86. That is uh, Nathaniel Rodriguez with a nice tackle. Yeah, Rodriguez is a sophomore that, that Petoskey brought up. So Wow, 6'4", 200. Yeah, he looks like a big, big good-looking kid. Wow. So it's going to be a second down and six, four yards for McDaniels. There's a keeper and a pitch out to Benson. Man, Benson trying to get loose, but there's a couple players there. Yeah, Number that, one was McCloskey. That pitch was just a little behind him and throw the timing off a little bit. And um, You know, Cooper did a good job of making something out of nothing there. He got a couple yards, so yeah. a two down territory for Cadillac and third and two. I see down. that uh, Petoskey is using the jersey, grabbing on yeah. several tackles to <laughs> slow up the Cadillac runners. As long as you're keeping your hands off the, the collar, yep. uh, that's that's totally fine. You know, in, in the NFL, even the hair is okay to tackle with now. Yeah, so <laughs> right. see that a lot. Okay, we've got a third and three for the Vikings. There's a give to McDaniel, and he's going to be close. Yeah. A yeah, good surge by that offensive line of Ryan Cox and Jacob Kahani. I don't think he got it. It's going to be fourth and one, less than one. Fourth and one now for the Vikings. we got 5.40 to go here in the third quarter. It is 27-13. to 13. The Northmen with the lead. Jason Main along with Bill Dooley bringing you the action here from Veterans Memorial Stadium. Great crowd here tonight. And it is the Big North Conference opener for both teams. What play do you like here, Bill? I'm thinking a keeper by uh, Baker. Yeah, just 
in motion is Benson. Yep. There's a keeper by Baker. Baker up the middle, all the way to the five, down to the three, first down, goal to goal. Yeah, there you go, you could be a coach. Yeah. <clears throat> You know, and, and really, I don't I don't think even Cody calls that. He calls the, the read play, and, and that's on tip that, that he makes the right read. And, um, you know, if they come get him, he pitches it, and that's a great job by a sophomore quarterback. Yeah. Baker has put the Vikings down on the three-yard line. Just under five minutes to go in the third quarter. Vikings looking to hit pay dirt here. Baker under center. Keeper, Keeper by Baker, and Baker's going to waltz into the end zone. Untouched touchdown, Vikings. Hey, Petoskey over, over pursued there, and, and Tip made a nice read and kind of cut back against the green. So We're going to catch that one on replay, but really a nice stop and cut yeah. back to the right. Yep. Hey, this is a big kick here. They yeah, at this point, Vikings. They, they might uh, go for two here. Hey, down eight, make it a six-point game. Right. You know they've been getting six yards of crack on their on their on their veer play there, and um, I'm sure he's got all kinds of confidence in Emma Lloyd, but the score kind of dictates the yeah. the play here. Need some points at this point, so Baker from the three-yard line. Baker Good keep, and he is swamped under there by a great tackle. We'll see who's getting up off the ground there. Uh, number 82, Jason. 82 is Lucas Mueller. And yeah. he's, a, he's a six foot, 193 pound senior that uh, leads their defensive line. Yeah, Muller, is, he's one of their, their senior defensive linemen. Okay, we got our sponsors here. Yeah, Cadillac Castings, Cadillac Tire, Napa Auto Parts, Lake City Materials. The Walkley Agency, Fox Motors of Cadillac, Godfrey Chevrolet Buick, Doug Glass, and Pizza Plus. Uh, big thank you to our sponsors and help to bring this sports presentation to you. If you would like to be a sponsor for high school sports, please contact our sales team at 231-577-1844 or you can email at sales at mynews26.com. Um, all the broadcasts are produced in cooperation between the Wexford Misaki Career Tech Center, CCTV, and My News 26. Student-run cameras, graphics, and instant replay supervised by a pro director. This year we have two completely outfitted vans filming two different football games every week. Uh, games first air on Fridays at 11, Saturdays at 11 a.m. Uh, replays are Saturday and Sunday at 4 p.m. And you can check out MyNews26.com for additional scheduling. All right, so Emma Lloyd for the Vikings. Uh, it's a big play here by the Vikes trying to avoid a, a big run back by the Northmen. Back to receive is Mitchell, Jalen Mitchell, and also Whitmore. It's a short kick. It's going to hit the ground, and it'll be taken right there by Sean McCloskey at the 35. So no return at the 35. Yep, those are those are tough because if, if they catch them right away, they're at the 35-yard line. But you know, there's a chance of it bouncing. You never know. And which, hitting the players, yep. if it hits them, the Vikings are right there too. So, uh, good coverage there by the Vikings. Our crew tonight is uh, our camera people are Megan Benson, Heather Stilson, and Megan and Heather are making their debut at a sporting event along with Rain Johnson Hill. Here's their we'll get tight to that formation. Just a minute. Here's a pitch to Mitchell. Mitchell is clogged up, and the Vikings will push him back and forward momentum maybe one yard. Uh, we also have Morris Langworthy Jr. as our replay and graphics, and then Wyatt Van Dynan is our director tonight. So great job by our team. It's just a pleasure working with them. And, and yeah, the, uh, the two new girls are doing great. But uh, absolutely. Owen, Owen Klaus is in on that tackle, so... Um, that, that formation we haven't seen since the first drive that, that Petoskey came oh, yeah. out, and they're sticking with it they're here. They're sticking right here, they too. They want to take some time off the clock. And Second down and eight. Counter. There's a counter to number 17. Yep, 17 is uh, Parker Arms. Parker Arms, he had one run early on in the game. Yep. You know, and, and that's the thing with this offense. If you don't get if you don't get two or three yards, then you uh, now you're at third and, third and seven. Looks like they're going back to their spread formations with the substitution. 
Ryan Cox onto the field, and I think that's uh, Pritchard. Number will 65, 65 Ethan, Ethan Pritchard is off, and Vikings looking to stop here on third and seven. Shotgun formation. And this is where you find Jake Lee and make sure he's covered. Dropping back to pass is Wilson. He's got all kinds of time. There's a pass caught there by McCloskey. McCloskey down to the 48, and uh, it's just hard when there's no pressure on the quarterback, Jason, all you know, time. The, the quarterback looked at Jake Lee for, for a long time, and he was covered well on the top side there, but uh, he had so much time he checked all the way down to this second receiver here, and he was open number, was that number one, McCloskey? That was Sean McCloskey. And that uh, that aerial attack tonight has been really something else. It has. They've, uh, you know, they, they, they said they were out of their comfort zone when they threw 14 times, but I think this week they got comfortable. Yeah. All right, it is first down on the 47. Keeper there by Wilson. He's met right there by number 60. A Owen great Klaus. tackle. Owen That's Klaus. Owen Klaus. <clears throat> that was a, a trips formation and a designed run right off, right all the way. And, uh, it didn't fool Owen that Austin time. Play. Owen's playing the outside the linebacker on the, on the top side. Boy, you could hear the, the pads hit way up here. Yeah. Nice tackle by Owen. Hey, Cadillac's moving some people around. They put they put Tip at outside linebacker now, brought in a little more speed. All right. Second and long. Yep, and they'll stick with that shotgun formation with uh, Jalen Mitchell in the backfield with Wilson. This time it is the give to Mitchell. He's going to break it outside to the right. He's got some space. There's a couple flags coming down and tackled at the 35. A nice run, but it's probably going to be called back. We've got a lot of laundry on the field. Yep. We'll wait both, for the call here, but Petoskey's it. moving back, so it's going to be a, a hold, hold right against Petoskey. It's going to be second and about 20, Bill. So Boy, that's that, uh, a big big play oh, for yeah. Cadillac because that was you a know, they say it's a They say it's a 10-yard penalty, but you know when you take the, the gain of the play minus the penalty, it's about a 24-yard penalty. Yep. So the Vikings defense gets a little break. It's 27 to 19 with two minutes to go here in the third quarter. The Vikings looking to uh, make a big stop here on defense. Petoskey from their own 42 yard line. They got trips to the left and Jake Lee out here, excuse me. Wilson looking again, there's a slant over the middle and he that dropped one was dropped it. by McCloskey. A little bit low, but he could have had it. Yeah, you know, as a receiver, you kind of want that one pretty low because you stick your arms up. There's a lot of guys going after you, so here's another great throw. Yeah, it's exactly where you want it. It's not going to be intercepted there. Yep, yep, and he catches it or nobody does. That stops the clock, which is good for Cadillac, and it's third down and 21. So at this point here, you want to... You want to bend, but you don't want to give, absolutely yeah, I, cannot give up the first down here. It, has Petoskey punted tonight? No. Because, uh, you know, I if they not, stop him here. I have not seen <clears throat> the punter. Wilson, they back to pass. There's some pressure on him by Olsen. Stepping back, there's a knockdown, and the pass is batted down. Hey, great play. Great play. You see who uh, got that? Let's see if we can get that on a I replay. Think it was Co Kohani, maybe? Number 75. I know 50 was in the vicinity. In Mario Cerna. Mario. And uh, if we can get the replay on this, we're going to get a good look at it. You that know, was a great third down play. It's a good thing he did it, too, because Jake Lee broke off his pattern back here, and he was open in the middle of the field. So it looks like we're, we're moving on to a punt here. All right. Tosky back in the punt formation, and who's punting for them? Number two, Cooper Benson, number 48, Tim Baker. Benson and Baker, like oh, and there's a nice, high, booming kick all the way down to the 15-yard line. Benson will take it up the left. He's at the 20, and he's met at the 25 and driven back 61. by 61. Stephen Hansen. Of the Hansen brothers. Yep. Oh, did he drive him back? He did. Joel Wilson was actually the punter there too. So. Yep. You know, that's a nice thing to have is your punter is the uh, and the quarterback is the same guy because they know they know the formation. If you ever do run a fake, you got somebody that can throw the ball. So. All right, so now the Vikings 
Hey, while they come out, I'll read some sponsors. Bill, Cadillac Castings, Cadillac Tire, Napa Auto Parts, Lake City Ready Mix, uh, the Walkley Agency, Fox Motors, Godfrey Chevrolet Buick, Doug Glass, and Pizza Plus. So thank you again to those fine sponsors we have. Vikings down by eight with a minute 45 to go in the third quarter. They're in a... There's a counter and then a gift to Cooper Benson, and he's brought down for a loss. That's, num that's, that's number Owen 18. Wilson. Yeah, yeah, Joel Wilson. Or Joel Wilson, sorry. Wow, well, he's, he's had a very active game on defense. We're going to stop the clock for something here. Looks like Cooper's going to have to come out of the game. They stopped the clock for him, so. Boy, and they're just hoping that he can get back on the field because. Yep. Well, the good thing is he got up on his own and hopefully yep. just dinged up a little bit. But he's jogging off, so. We want to go over our, well, do we have time? Nope, looks like they're going to get the ball rolling here. Let's see if we can get our camera crew here again. 21 out here. Uh, Jordan Burr is their, their defensive back that's covered Keegan all night, and he's done a good job. Keeper, pitch out wide, cutting up the field to the 40-yard line. Is that Seth Olson? I think so. Nice block by Cole Flint on that play and just to shadow his man. Yeah, Seth Olson, the 5'9", 185 senior. Nice job by Seth. We got third down and four from the 40-yard line. So this is a, a big sequence here for the Vikings. It'd be tough to have to go for it, and they may have to punt it away if they do not make it. Now in motion, up the middle, fighting hard is McDaniel, and he's going to be short. And he's one yard short. By number 11, Jerry <coughs> this is where the coaches will make their, make their money. Make their money. They're going to mark it at the 44. Yeah. They need to get, Ooh. excuse me. Wow. It's under a yard. And sometimes here you, you run a, you run a <laughs> try to draw them off sides and then call a timeout and then call your best play. They're gonna, they're gonna actually measure, yeah. Measurement. Can we get the uh, the crew here, Jason. Yeah, um, Wyatt Van Dynen is the director. Uh, Morris Langworthy Jr. is our replay. Um, Megan Benson and Heather Stilson on the cameras, and Rain Johnson Hill also doing a great job on the cameras tonight. And Jason, it looks like they are literally inches, inches. If that, the the referees are actually tip. They're gonna oh, they give the first down. They gave it to him. Yeah. <coughs> Petoskey uh, coach Kerry uh, Van Orman is uh, yeah. not too happy no. with that call. You know what? That's where uh, on a different part of the field, it all is, is how the ref sees the measurement. So, yeah. Well, that's uh, a break for Cadillac, and if they can take advantage of it here, they got 42 seconds left in the third quarter. I, I think Cadillac probably would have went for it anyway with I one inch to you go. Have to, or, yeah. You have to on that point. So... Clock is running with 40 seconds to go. The Vikings uh, right there, and that one is wrapped up nicely by uh, 82 and also number 86, 82 and 86 on the tackle. Nathaniel Rodriguez is that sophomore that's made a couple plays, and 82 is Lucas Miller again. That's Muller. Muller, sorry. Lucas Muller. So uh, good job defensively. That's second down and 10, no gain. A little bit of a mix-up between uh, Baker yep. on that one. They Looks like they're held on to it, let it run out here and go to the fourth quarter. All down right. By eight. As time runs out here, we will tell you that the score is the Petoskey Northman 27 and the Cadillac Vikings 19. You are watching high school football action on 26 Sports and CCTV. But we'll be right back. 